Bon pomeriggio beautiful people, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to part two of my full week of workouts at home. So as a quick recap, what I explained on part one was my workout split where I work Tuesday to Sunday. I do three lower body days, two upper body days and then one full body cardio workout on Sunday. On Tuesday we did a deadlift routine, on Wednesday we did our first upper body session. So now I'm going to get through Thursday and Friday where Thursday I did my squat routine and then Friday I did my second upper body session. So I hope you liked this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you did and without further ado let's get to the rest of my weekly workout. So as I explained before, every time I do a lower body day, I like to do loads of supersets and then end the session with standalone exercises. So Thursday on my squat session, I did one superset of prone squats, superseted with Swiss leg curls. Now in the first part of the exercise, you can take a band or you can take a weight, whatever you have at home, and you position in the front of yourself and you proceed to do squats to failure as many as you can do. Remembering to be mindful with your form and have that main muscle connection with your lower body and really do controlled squats on the way down and on the way up. Then I supersetted it with a variation of a Swiss ball leg curl. So instead of a Swiss ball, which I don't have here, I took a cloth, I placed my feet and I proceed to do leg curls throughout my body. So I really made sure that my upper body was contracted, that I planted my arms and my palms on the floor to avoid gliding and moving around. And then I will really go down using my hamstrings, so going forward with my legs, and then curl my legs towards my body, really using my hamstring, really focus on my foam and making sure that my upper body was elevated to add some resistance. So I repeated this superset for four times and then passed to the next superset. The second superset is a double pulse squat together with bundle pull throughs. So the first exercise is a double pulse squat. Now instead of holding the weight in front of you, you hold them below you so that you really drive up using your hamstrings and using your glutes. So make sure that your form is really on point, that you only drive up using your legs rather than your upper body and that you're controlled and paced. second part of the superset which are banded pull throughs so here I just took a band hooked it up somewhere stable and then make sure to do the pull through like you used to do in the cable machines at the gym so really driving forward using your hips and squeezing your glutes at the top and back down always ensuring that your back is straight again do this to failure and then take a rest and then repeat this superset for four times And the last superset of this session is a combo of single leg elevated hip thrusts and hip abduction. So the first part of the superset, as I said, is a single leg hip thrust. So you take a chair, a bench or your couch, you put one foot up and then you really make sure to do the hip thrust by driving from your heel that is placed on the sofa or wherever and really squeezing the glutes of the leg that again is staying down on the way up. And you do that up to failure and then you pass into the other leg. Again, once you've done both sides to failure, you straight away take a band, put it around your knees, contract on the way up into a hip thrust position and then proceed to do hip abductions. Usually I do five pulses of hip abduction, then go down, then five pulses again and like that until failure. Once you finish this exercise, again take a breather and repeat the whole superset for a total of four times. Which 
shall finish this squat session with a finisher or a standalone exercise in this case I'm doing frog pumps and I'm doing them for 30 to 40 seconds because to be honest I couldn't do any more and then rest and then repeat that for three times Now that we finished our squat session, we shall pass to Friday where I did my second upper body workout paired with my second abs workout. So here again, as I did on Wednesday, we shall do these two blocks, so two circuits. So the first circuit for the upper body consists of five exercises, each done 30 seconds back to back and then rest for a minute, two minutes and then repeat that for four times. So the first exercise is a chest press. Here I decided not to use the weights but instead use a resistance band so I put it around my waist then I hooked each end of the resistance band on my hands and then proceeded to do a conventional chest press, really be mindful of my form and really driving up using my chest muscles. After doing that for 30 seconds, you shall straight away pass into a shoulder press. Again, I use my band, I put around my foot, and then drive with my arm. Do each side for 15 seconds for a total of 30 seconds, and then pass to the next exercise. decided to do a tricep extension variation so instead of using the cable machine which is what I would personally use at the gym I decided to use the, again a resistance band so this is sort of a combo because it also uses the shoulder of the side that is not working so you hold a resistance band in front of you up and then you really hold there using your shoulder and then with the other arm you take the other end of the resistance band and you proceed to do tricep extensions and you do that each side for 15 seconds for a total of 30 seconds. The fourth exercise of this circuit is 30 seconds of bent over flies. Again, you hook up one side of the resistance band under your foot so that it's placed and it's not moving. And then with the other end, you proceed to do bent over flies with one arm, 15 seconds and then you pass over to the next side. And finally of this circuit you do front raises, you can do both arm front raises, you can do one arm front raises, whatever it feels more comfortable using a band or a weight and you proceed to do that for 30 seconds. each back to back and then you repeat them for a total of four times. Now passing to the second and last circuit we're gonna do some abs exercises again for 30 seconds each so it consists of again five exercises so first of all I did decided to go into a big position and then do some leg swaps so here I took a weight you can take your phone your a bottle of water whatever you have with you and you proceed to pass under each leg the weight at the same time of being contracted in this V position crunch. After doing that for 30 seconds, you pass into oblique toe touch. So again, make sure to really contract your abs, to really go side to side using your obliques rather than be driven by your arms or your shoulder or whatever else that is not your abs and do that for 30 seconds. Then to make life fun I proceeded to do 10 seconds pulses of V holds so I would go into a V crunch position, I would hold for 10 seconds, then I would take a breather just because I'm not able to do the full 30 seconds like that and I would go back into another 10 seconds and repeat that three times for a total of 30 seconds V hold crunches. Next 
I then did 30 seconds of oblique mountain climbers. So instead of doing the traditional mountain climbers where you go forward with your knees, you go on the side with your knees trying to almost touch your elbow and you proceed that really using your obliques and really driving your knees on the side of your body. And you do that for 30 seconds and then the sixth and last exercise of this abs circuit is you hold into a flat boat so you really tense your body you really tense your legs and you crunch your abs and you hold for as long as you can then you take a breather and then you repeat again for the remaining of the 30 seconds available to do this exercise and that really targets the entirety of your abs and it gives you the last burnout of the circuit exercise for 30 seconds back to back and then once you finish the circuit you rest for one to two minutes and you repeat all this circuit for a total of four times so that's it that was Thursday and Friday for me so again I did a squat session and then I did my second upper body and abs circuits if you haven't seen already part one of this full week of home workouts I will make sure to leave the link down below in the description box so please don't hesitate to go check it out to have the full look out of what a person can do to train at home and please also stay tuned for part three where I do my Saturday and Sunday workouts to conclude the week I hope you like this video please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you on the next and last video of this weekly workouts at home series ciao